Maybe not so visually great under these lighting conditions, but this is a, a very early silk flame I made based on um, LED uh, lighting, which there was nothing available at that time like that. I'm just going to turn this off now because it is quite stormy. So, uh, yeah, all the silk flames at that time were tungsten. And the idea of a silk flame is it's a fan with a baffle across it. You can actually see the baffle just in the back of this. It's actually tucked in. Uh, it appears to be made of cardboard, the ideal modelling material for the engineering industry. And it, the baffle is uh, just basically a, a panel like that to stop the spiral. It stop if Without it, the air would come out as a vortex and would tend to twist the silk flame. But the silk, uh, specifically silk, because synthetic fabrics don't work as well as silk does, the silk is super light. And the wind blows past it and it ripples it and it gives a very convincing flame effect. But, uh, they weren't available at that time in LED and, well, I decided just to make an LED one for the hell of it. And I'm not even sure when this is because I, unusually, I don't think I actually put my name and date in this, which is very odd. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I can see a little hint of text in there. Oh, I can see Clive and Silk Flame, but I can't actually see much else. I wonder if there is a date in there. I don't actually see it. But then again, it's not very uh, easy to see in that area. Oh, there is. Clive 99. Oh, it was 1999. Okay, that's reasonable enough. And basically speaking, the circuit board is round, designed to fit into a, a sort of one of the standard sort of silk flame holders, but then has the matrix of LEDs and holes drilled through the circuit board between them with the copper tracks going between the supports between the holes so that it, the air can pass right through the LED array itself. Yeah, it's quite neat. It looks very visual. I quite like the look of it. But uh, yeah, again, it was just a prototype. <laughs>